Hello friends. In this video of new 7 QC tools, I shall discuss about relationship diagram. A relationship diagram also known as relations diagram or interrelationship diagram is a tool to understand and establish the relationship among the objective and the associate cause. Though many consider it as a cause and effect tool which is partially correct but there is more to it. Let us try to understand how to draw a relationship diagram. At first, among the team establish the objective or the agenda. Ensure everyone understands the agenda. Then specifically ask why isn't the objective happening or happened. Based on the knowledge, write all the associated primary causes. Now for all the primary causes, try to find out the associated reasons. They can be one or more than one. These sub-reasons are known as secondary or tertiary causes. This would be easily understandable through the diagram. There is another way in which the relationship diagram can be made. Identify the objective. Try to identify the ideas related to the objective or the agenda. Now start with an idea and try to find the related idea from the mentioned ones based on the influence. Repeat this step for all the ideas. Count the total number of arrows going in and out of each box. The idea with the maximum number of going in arrows is the major cause on which the action needs to be taken. You can actually pause this video and have a look at this example. This is the relationship diagram and this is how it is drawn. It may help you in unraveling the logical issues from a complex problem. It would propagate multidimensional thinking. The priorities can be identified easily and accurately. That's it for this video, in the next video, we shall discuss about another new management tool. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe our channel. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions in the comment box below. Thank you.